Welcome to this video of Concepts Explained. Today we're going to look at Express Middleware Concept. So what exactly is Express Middleware you might ask? Express Middleware is a function that runs between the end route logic. So this would be the end route logic or otherwise known as the controller of a route. So why do we need Express Middleware? For things like checking incoming bodies, passing incoming bodies, um, checking headers for tokens and doing authentication stuff, all of these fun stuff. So how exactly does it work? On a small scale, we can start by looking at middleware as follows. So starting with a middleware, you might have seen this type of syntax before, app.use. So this basically initiates a middleware. So a middleware, as I said, is just a function that has access to the request and response cycle of the HTTP request and has a special function express gate gives it called next. So this next function is really important and I'll get to that in just a second. So for now I'm just going to console.log so we can see the output on the console server. Server console. Um, middleware one. We're going to save this and then we go to start our server we go to postman make a get request to that route send and you can see the client side is hanging and why is this we can see that it console logged in the server so why is it hanging why is it not going to this route we requested to well this is what the next function is for next function allows express to continue it literally tells express okay continue after doing this piece of middleware that can run any code and we'll get to get to what middle we can do in a second and uh, continue so now if i save this restart my server and run send we'll see success being sent to the client and we can see both of these console logs firstly we see the log of the middleware and then we see the route this should tell you something initially so in middleware the order in which the middleware is um, called is very important. So if I were to put another piece of middleware here and call this middleware two and save, restart my server, and do the exact same thing. I can see middleware one, then middleware two, and then get route. If I were to change these two, it would first log middleware two, then middleware one. So having that out of the way and knowing that middleware order is very important, we can use middleware for different things. So what can we use middleware for? We can use middleware for to any to execute any code. If you want to handle errors in a specific way, you can use middleware. So you have a uniformed way of handling errors and you just forward your er errors to that piece of middleware. That piece of middleware handles the output and logging of the errors. For example, we can say app.use in the error instance for this instance, we have the request response and next, but before that, we have an error. Response and next. Uh, request, response and next. So what this will do is, anywhere in my application where I throw an error, it will automatically be forwarded to this piece of middleware. So if I were to have an error inside of this um, this function right here, I can throw error, save this, and we can console.log something, we can console.log the error, and then we can say res.send something went wrong, please try again. So here we can handle what the user sees and log the error for us to continue with. So we can automatically see this is being grayed out because when we throw an error, it doesn't continue to this. So we can actually just comment that out for now. Restart the server, send, and we see something went wrong. Please try again. And it logs us the error. So using middleware for different reasons is pretty cool so another um, form of using middleware is using it as a 404 um, a 404 page so we can say 404 page not found 
for example, or you can physically load the HTML for that page. And we can remove the error. So whenever we want or we um, go to a page or a route on our server that does not exist, it would be catched by this one. And this is very important because this is the last um, middleware on the entire application. So there can't be any middleware below this, otherwise it won't um, do what we want it to do. So if we restart the server and then go to something that does not exist and we send, then we see a 404 page not found. This first middleware is still um, still uh, still happened and still fired off and that's just because of the sequence of stuff that happened so if we were to go back and actually go to a route that exists called home then we'll see success and we see the middleware middleware one and the get route being being um, fired so there are different ways um, of writing middleware um, one is uh, using this use type of syntax the other one is just making a uh, middleware function um, basic javascript function and we just give it access to the quit response and next and then we just basically do exactly the same we call this middleware one function and this is called um, the previous way of doing it with the use is called app level um, app level middleware so in order to use this piece of middleware we can pass it right in here and now it will do exactly the same and this is called a router level middleware which makes sense because this is the route and now we're using this piece of middleware inside of the route so it will go to um, app it get request to this um, route endpoint it would see this middleware it would do the piece of middleware and call next to complete the controller so if we save this and run the file and go to postman and send we see success and there we can see the exact same output so this is different ways of handling and um, writing middleware. Another um, form of middleware is built-in middleware. For example, if you've ever used body parser or um, JSON, express.json, what this does, this function calls next somewhere inside there. It's an express built-in package. And this gives us, it passes our body, incoming body that is sent through Postman or whatever client you're using. And that gives us access to the request.body object. So previously, if we uncomment this and, s and save, restart the server. Uh, yeah, we have to remove this piece of middleware now. Save, restart the server. Go to Postman, make a post request. We see success, but we can see that this request.body is undefined. And the reason for this is because if we go uncomment this, what this package or this piece of middleware does is it passes the body and on the request object it sets the request body for us so now there is data on the request body so if we restart our server go to postman go to the body and i've just added this uh, key value pair of hello the key and the value will and i send we see success and in the server we can see hello world being logged so now i have a way of sending data through the request object and this is also um, fairly popular and used um, in cases of authentication so if i say is off and i have the request response and next and i do some uh, get the token from headers so this you will see is very um, standard for how authentication works i'll make a separate video on um, how authentication works and how you handle tokens and etc but understanding middleware first is very important so when it gets to these type of stuff it's much easier to understand the logic of what is happening and how the data flow works then we'll do some type of validation of the token and once the token is validated and um, and it is like legit then we can set a user id so this is just a random name I'm just calling it user ID and I'll set that token I got from the headers so now to use this request user ID or use this middleware that does all of these stuff I can just obviously like I said before use this in a route level um, 
route level middleware. So now I have access to this request user ID. If I restart this and send, we can see it's hanging. And what is the reason for this? Did you spot the error? The error is I never called this next function. And in middleware, it's very important to call this next function. Otherwise, it's just going to keep on hanging and hanging and your um, your client does uh, your server doesn't continue to the rest of the stuff so your client never gets his data back so let's restart the server and try it again we send we see success and here we see that token that was handled in this is authenticate middleware so this is the basic workings of middleware and um, once again it's very important to understand the concept more than seeing what it can do if you understand how the middleware works, then seeing what it can do and using it becomes much more easier and clearer and um, for you as a developer to grow and build on that knowledge of understanding how it works becomes um, a much better asset for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if it helped, please leave a comment below and uh, see you in the next one.